Hi guys, it's Nora. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys my updated house tour once again. The new update just came out, which you have not seen my opinion on. You make sure to go watch that video. The link will be in the description box down below. And I decided, like, I'm just going to make a whole new house because if a new pack comes out, I usually always make a brand new house because, like, there's always just so many cute things in every update that took a book release. <laughs> so, yeah, I did update it. I think it looks really, really good, and I cannot wait to show you guys. But before I start this video, make sure to go and hit that thumbs up button to be in the egg fam, and please enjoy. Okay, so we're just going to slide down this little playhouse. So, I do have to tell you guys, it's not Christmas themed at all. I know, you're probably like, what? What in the world? But we are still on our Christmas vacation out in Colorado, so that means we're not even going to be in this house till like, New Year's, but... <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to make it because I was just so excited. Okay, so to start off, if we go this way, we have this little gate that leads to the little pooper area. <laughs> the pooper area. So I'm pretty sure it, yeah, it does work. So you can pee and poop and do all that stuff on this grass bed here. And I'm pretty sure it fades away after a while. I'm not too sure though. It's my first time even trying to get out. So yeah, we have some trees back here. This is a little mud splash I just came from the update. And it actually gets some dirty and you can clean them off. So I'll be cleaning Box Cat after we head into the house. So over here is the playhouse for the kids. I have two kids and I know they're gonna love to play outside now because they have this amazing little backyard or front yard with all this really cool stuff and they have like a ladder and they have another tree with their baseball. We have picnics outside which I think is so cute. And then over here I'm gonna start a little garden like kind of like around the edge of this. But that won't be till a while, obviously. I'm gonna go to bring Box Cat with us on our adventure today because she definitely needs to be clean. She's a little dirty. Even though she is a shake hat, she does not stay with us. She does need some cleaning, guys. I love that this house has a door. I think the only house that has a door is the Modern Mansion and the Misty Cottage. And one, the Modern Mansion is huge and sometimes it can't even fill up all the space in it. And the Misty Cottage is only for like spooky things. So I'm so glad they made like a simple house with a door. Very, very cute. Very, very cute. Now we're actually in the house. So this is going to be the kitchen. So I'm going to put box cat down. So in the fridge, we have some bottles, orange juice, milk, breakfast foods at the bottom, and fruits at the top with like meat, fish, and cheese at the very, very top. And that's what we have for the fridge. And all those items you can just get from the builder area in here because y'all, I was a little too lazy to go like get a bunch of foods. <laughs> and in here we have our lunch pail. So I do work as a doctor and I need to bring lunch sometimes. So I have that little lunch box. And we have some plants, a super cute little flower. I just love these flowers. You can take them out. So if you want to change like the vase in it, which I don't think I want to, but if you want to change the vase, you can. We have some tea running as well. And we also have a little fishy because I was like, we need a little animal in here. Obviously, it's a pet house. <laughs> and right here we have my wedding. Oh my gosh, I kind of forgot to tell you guys too. I changed my avatar. I decided to give her brown hair and a uh, straight hair. So basically all I did was dye it and straightened it. I don't know if I like it. I might put my curly hair back, but I was just like, maybe for Christmas time we can have a straight. But I don't know if I like it. I don't know. It looks so different. She doesn't even look like Nora anymore. But um, let me know what you guys think about it. Um, but over here we have our wedding day photos, which I think are so, so cute. We have a little Shiva. I'm pretty sure it's from Hus, which is one of the locations in Took Life World. And we have this adorable polar rug, which came from Snuggle Cups, Karen Core, this whole like table and chair set. And yeah, that's what we have there. And then if you're wondering where this is from, this is from the new pack. And these little picture frame holders came from the store pack, where we had like that awesome large store update. I don't know, I forgot what it was called. Then if we move on this way, is the living room. And I think the living room is actually so cozy. Like, tell me this is not just so adorable. You can just sit here and watch the little fireplace show. So, so aesthetic. I love it a lot. In here, we have my computer and my cute little piggy succulent. Some work files and a plant 
and we have a dog radio and another plant at the top. And if you're wondering where this is from, this is from the Pom Pom Emporium, and the other two plushies came from the brand new pack. Now, this is our bedroom, and you're probably wondering, like, Nora, this kind of looks like a little child's bedroom and does not look like it's for an adult whatsoever, but guys, I don't care. I wanted to make this my dream bedroom. And in Tokyo World, this will probably be my dream bedroom. Like, it's so cozy. Like, I feel like, I don't know. I just like it. I like it a lot. Okay, and we have a little crib for Baby Star. I saw some Christmas E stuff, like a reindeer. But it's definitely not Christmas themed anymore, guys. Um, in my vanity, we have, like, my face masks, fumes, lotions, hairbrush. And in my closet, we have all these, like, robes. This is the Santa hat from, I think, like, last year's. Uh, Friday's gifts and over here we have a gym outfit another gym outfit gym outfit Christmas PJs Christmas outfit Christmas PJs This to take to work with me every day or to pack baby star stuff and my favorite outfit in the Goliath world Christmas outfit Christmas PJs and regular PJs So we have um, I want to show you guys a shelf so we have a calendar for the month. We have a disfu disfuser, diffuser, I mean, which is a little doggy, a plant, another plushie, another plant, my phone, and a teddy. And that's what we have for my bedroom. So let's go to move on to the bathroom, which is right over here. So I did actually want to make this super simple. I want it to be very minimalist, so not a lot of stuff going on, like clutter everywhere, because sometimes if I put too much decoration, it just looks messy. But I think this time I put just enough. <laughs> so here we have our sink and our mirror, a trash can, vanity to do our makeup, even though we have one in our room, but hey, whatever. Oops, accidentally put that out. And then this is the shower, and we just, you know, go and take a shower. And then right up here is the toilet, so that's what we have. That is the bathroom. Very, very simple. I think we can just move on from that now. <laughs> so I actually did decide to make this house two stories, but it does not look like it's two stories at the moment, but I'll show you how I did it. So um, these are some boxes because we're, you know, obviously in the process of moving. This house is not done, by the way. I feel like there's a lot more decoration I could add, but like I'm just showing you guys how it looks now because... I probably won't have time to make a video tomorrow because of exams and I also think that you guys probably want to see how my house is looking so far. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be the office. It's super cute. And if you're wondering why there's like a little cage railing thing, it's because I want to surprise the kids with a little surprise very soon. And you guys will also have a little surprise as well. This is where I can just study and drink my cappuccino, which I got from Starbucks. But now we're just going to go and head straight up to floor 2, so I'll show you guys how it looks in just a second. Okay guys, welcome to floor number 2. So, you're probably like so confused, like, um, where are we? We are in the modern mansion. This is going to be the second floor, considering, of my house. This is the laundry room, which is not done, but I think it looks really good. I'm deciding to go for a yellow theme for this laundry room, and I think it's just so, so cute. But that's all we have. And then this whole area is just like empty. Like, let me know what to put here, guys. This is the one time I'm having a little bit of trouble building in Tokyo World because there's just so much stuff now that I don't even know what to do anymore. But that's why you guys are here to help me out. So just let me know. And this is going to be my favorite, favorite room now. I just think it's so adorable. Like, oh my god, I did such a good job. <laughs> but this is going to be Luca's bedroom, my son's. I'm going to go ahead and pull him out so you guys can see him. Okay, guys, we're back. So I have baby star out at the moment because I just wanted you guys to see all the family members. Even though my husband, JJ, isn't in here, but that's fine. So we have my mom here. And then we have Luca and Storm. So, we can just go and go in your bed, I guess, or play some video games. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what we have. And I think it's so, so cute in here. So, we have, like, some paw prints. Paw prints, actually. Um, Luca, why are there paw prints in your room? Uh, knocking. This is a new house. There's no reason. <laughs> Probably not hiding a pet in my closet. <laughs> okay, so she has this little cute plant here, which is, like, a basketball. And I think I made this room a little more adult, not adult, but like big boy-y because 
you know, right now it's gonna be his birthday soon, and I was like, okay, he needs a better bedroom, not like a little kid bedroom. <laughs> and he has a little bed here because he wants a pet so bad. I'm thinking about it, guys, don't worry. This is Baby Star's bedroom, so she has a crib, her couch, and she has her changing table over there with like a little play thing. She has a TV in front of her bed. I think that it's going to help her a lot with her sensi so she can like learn new colors, shapes, and all those things. So I was like, let's just have a TV right in front of her crib so she can just learn all the time. <laughs> Educational shows only. So in here is going to be Storm's bedroom. So I made a little preppy, a little soft. So, so cute. Kind of similar to the old Modern Mansion house I had before. But she has a baby axolotl in here. I think it's so cute. Fun fact about axolotls. I'm pretty sure that they can like grow back their limbs. Which was very strange for me to hear. But um, that's a thing. And then she has her paintings that she did. Another flower painting. Some stickers. Her clock. Her headset down here with like some pets she's looking. Oh my god, the kids are obsessed with pets now. I need them to calm down. I don't know if I'm ready for like a dog running all over the place. And she has a rat. Um, <laughs> shoo, shoo, get away. Uh, anyways, I need to talk to her about bringing random animals into the house. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll just put it in this because I don't know why in God's green earth she has a rat in here, but... Um, then she has her couch in front of the window with her table. So guys, it's going to be it for today's video. And yeah, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, of course, make sure to go and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel to be in the egg pan. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! That's me waving, by the way. <laughs>